Okay, welcome back everybody to the All Laptop Chronicles Nintendo Edition. Continuing with my playthrough of Super Mario World with Chivos. So, this is my second recording session for this game. Of course, since we are playing under the Retro Achievements quote unquote rules, we cannot do save states. So we start the game as I actually started the console again, basically. So we get back to five lives. I remember back then when I used to do my playthroughs, I didn't do like all of the games in one sitting and I had people asking me, wait, what happened to your lives? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, I have a life. I'm not going to be spending three or four hours. Some people do. I mean, and I did at some point spending three or four hours playing a single video game non-stop or even recording it for that matter I mean I have done live streams you know for many hours but when I started my career as a youtuber I used to do like one hour sessions or an hour and a half sessions at most and I don't know people apparently didn't understand that I didn't have to like do the whole playthrough with the same life count I started the game again Back then, I didn't do save states or any of the of those things, especially when I did my playthrough of Yoshi's Island, for example. So a lot of people didn't understand, and I mean, they were like complaining about like my life's resetting, basically, which doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, like if I were at any danger of losing them all or getting a game over because of that. But in this case of the achievements, it's, let's say, mandatory. Again, this is quite unquote hard mode. I mean, I could play it on, on the casual mode that I think does allow save states, but gives you half of the points. For... each of the achievements, so it's kind of pointless. Alright, actually, I do want to see something here. Because I, I think there is a part of the screen that's not showing for whatever reason. Yeah, it isn't showing a little bit of the screen here. I don't know what happened there. Anyway. Fixed it. It's just a tiny bit of the lava at the bottom. Like, call my attention. Actually, I should have gone back to the previous level and get the secret exit for the... Um, for the red switch. Um, I've been kind of thinking about what to do next for, you know, this channel. What game is that exactly? Oh no, I fucked that, didn't I? No, actually I didn't. I can make a respawn this platform. So yeah, I've been thinking about that and, you know, don't discard that I'm actually gonna be doing things such as um, roulettes or randomizers on this channel as well as No Nintendo Allowed, which are like the two secondary channels that are specialized on um, the specific systems that will be featured. Well, in this case, of so this channel is only Nintendo consoles or arcades. As you noticed, last week we were doing some... Uh, one of the uh, Versus... The Versus series arcades, Battle City. Which technically isn't a first part of a Nintendo game, but it is part of a Nintendo arcade system. Based on NES games. And previously we did um, Arm Wrestling. Which apparently people liked. But yeah, I mean, uh, in, in the sense of only Nintendo consoles, either, I mean, mostly first party or at least half of the time first party games, the other half of the time third party games, but, but always within the Nintendo systems. Um, my, I might be doing like roulettes or one of these things that I've been doing a lot on other channels, like roulettes using the will decide system. The, the will decide page or the randomizer, the, the text randomizer. 
I could be doing any of those things, so don't get surprised. Because, I mean, I can just do random playthroughs and follow the sequence of, for example, as I mentioned at some point, one first party NES game. Did I fuck it up, right? I did. I mean, if I wanted to get eventually, like, extra lives out of this. Should be getting an achievement for pressing this. Even though I don't know at this point. So yeah, basically I am using or doing the um, All Up to Chronicles with achievements basically to give a little bit of a different thing. Okay, apparently they didn't get any achievement for pressing the, the switch. Let me take a look. Oh, okay, they give you achievements uh, based on the Yoshis you have. Alright, no, not just for pressing the things. Alright, so, um, what was I doing? Okay, let's uh, do the regular path here in World 3, and then when we make it to World 4, we'll be taking the other path here in World 3. So we get to the Battle Bridge. Basically two sections, or two separate paths for World Number 4. So yeah, this is basically a secondary project. Some sort of filler. I mean, how many times have you watched me play Mario World? Probably not that many. I mean, the original one. But how many times have you seen that game on camera, you know, on, on YouTube, etc.? I'm not, like, providing anything new. I mean, the only, like, quote-unquote change is the achievements. Since I'm relatively new to the achievements system, I'm basically trying to, um, you know, get a decent amount of achievements gradually, starting with the games that I'm relatively good at. I mean, I'll be doing achievements for all the Donkey Kong Country games, like somebody asked in one of the comments previously. I mean, I already actually started doing that Donkey Kong Country 3. I did a couple of live streams last year, and I did a full playthrough of that. I mean, I got a bunch of achievements, still quite a few left for DKC3. But yeah, I mean, expect a little bit of that, but like, I, I am basically playing a game that everybody knows and everybody has seen and played at some point. The only like different thing that I'm doing here is basically a personal type of challenge, which is get the achievements for this game, which I've never gotten. Again, I'm, I've been watching like people stream retro achievements, but I recently started like trying to get ach actual achievements. Fucked it up. I wanted to get more points. Remember, there is a, an achievement also for getting all the things, um, you know, all the items in the bonus game being exactly the same. Lemmy's Castle. So yeah, I mean, as I decide what to do uh, for, for like the main projects of this channel, I will be doing things like this, like games that everybody knows, using an excuse to use my older laptop like I'm using now, with achievements, which is like the one different thing, if you want to consider it like that. I actually do want to get the checkpoint here because I don't like this castle. I'm not a big fan of it. Let's see if I'm able to get it right away. All right, we are there. Remember, we are not self-stating. At some point, when I actually borrow Super Nintendos from friends, remember I didn't own any as a kid. Uh, I used to like very gradually getting good at this game, but it took me many deaths, lots of frustration. I mean, I actually got my first exposure to this game thanks to a neighbor. A neighbor that, well, back then I was like, I don't know, nine, ten years old, and he was like five. He was a little kid, and he owned a Super Nintendo, he got Mario World and Mortal Kombat 2. That's how, how I got so familiar with that game, thanks to this to this neighbor of mine that I had, like, back in uh, late 80s, more or less. Before that, I didn't have any exposure to this game, let's be honest. So yeah, uh, I used to play Mario World at this guy's house, especially in, in the summer. In the summer, I used to go to his house, like, every single day with a couple of other friends, and we all played Super Nintendo the whole afternoon. So yeah, we played Mortal Kombat 2, and then we played some Mario World. 
And I don't think he had any other game other than those two. So that's why I'm so like uh, into Mortal Kombat 2. It's one of the games that you see me play a bit or quite a bit. Not as often anymore, but at some point I used to play it a lot on camera. By the way, I'm doing just random commentary because, come on, it's my world, guys. I'm not gonna be commenting on the game and explaining what everybody knows. So I'm just gonna be telling you stories and making announcements for potential projects on the channel. I didn't get the mushroom, but at least I defeated Lemmy, so fuck you. So, yeah. But back then I sucked at Mario World, I couldn't even beat two worlds or three worlds. Here's my achievement for Lemmy Koopa. Then when I borrow a Super Nintendo from like a friend of my brother's that used to be became a neighbor for for a, some time. Uh, basically, I borrowed his Super Nintendo for a while, and I was able to play Mario World, um, Mortal Kombat 3, Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. Basically, exchanging games with other friends of the neighborhood. Sometimes, exchanging games that weren't even mine. And exchanging for something else, and I played like, that game for a, a whole week. Oh yeah, actually I shouldn't have played this already. I mean, I wanted to take the other path in World 3, but whatever. We are here already. Actually, this is a good chance to go back. I I should go for the Yoshi coins now. Like, a lot more... strict about that. At least I think I should be more strict about that. Alright. I guess you hear that whistle. It's Breathman! I mean, there are millions of stores around here where you can get your bread. Bread here, like types of bread, uh, are like very typical here in Chile. It's like the tortillas in Mexico, they go with everything. And now, plane passing by, of course. Any excuse to make noise and basically being annoying is good enough. I mean, what's what's a good video of Chilean Ruto Gamer without plane passing by, ice cream man passing by, bread man passing by, and now lately my dog barking at cats? Come on. I guess I'm gonna be making some of these videos a little bit longer. Because it's Mario World, I mean... I'm still gonna be taking my time playing this, I mean... Again, this is a secondary project. I should be playing something else, actually. This was supposed to be a filler, but yeah, I mean, it's Mario World, it's not necessarily a short game. So it might take a little while. Especially if I want to go back to it and get, like, all the achievements for the game, or at least as many as I can. Many of them obviously will not be obtained in a single playthrough, I mean, forget about it. It's impossible. But yeah, it's very unfortunate that there is no way of counting the the Yoshi coins that you are getting on, on their way. Like a good register. I mean, the only choice left, I guess, is to replay the levels. I cannot come up with any other idea other than that. So yeah, let me go back to a little bit to the potential projects on this channel, as well as No Nintendo Allow, which are the two secondary projects that are alike. Um... I don't know, I'm still thinking, probably in one of the channels I might be doing a mini roulette, like the wheel thing. And another one I will, do in, I will be doing a, a text randomizer instead. Okay, I'm gonna take the secret exit actually. Or should I go for the regular one first and get all the Yoshi coins here and make sure I get them all. Fuck life. So... Yeah, I mean, I might, I might be considering that, because the, the initial idea, and I think we already discussed about this, but the initial idea was to basically... Oh, I'm doing all these things before, that, that I never did before, to be honest. Never cared even a little about, like, placing these springboards, like, 
in, in different places, in different locations. Just to get Yoshi coins as collectibles. Wait, was that a good idea? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't die here. Come on, I needed the points. I mean, kinda. Not for the lives, it's, it's for the bonus chance specifically and get that one achievement. So yeah, the initial idea was to basically... Um, you know... I'm gonna get the secret exit, I think I'm gonna call it an episode actually after this. Um, to do one first party game of a console, then do a third party game of the very same console, like go in chronological order, started with the NES, then the Game Boy, then the Super Nintendo, etc, uh, etc, et until I get to the, I don't know, the regular Wii at least, which is the console in which I can get a bunch of games for. I mean, I have a Wii U, but I don't have too many games for it, and I'm basically going to be playing those games for other series on other channels, not for this one. Uh, but at least something that I can play a lot of games for. So probably the regular Wii would be a good stop. The thing is, um, I am either for that or I could do like roulettes using a similar system like oh don't tell me I cannot get up there if I don't press the blue thing uh, actually let's see if I can get a feather well this is one of the things that you cannot get if you don't have the proper power-ups without save states obviously it takes extra effort all right, here's the feather, so I can actually do the thing by flying with resources given in this one level alone. So yeah, I I'm still indecisive about what to do in terms of the like the big series or sorry, of the big way of playing games here on 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 this channel, either by using a roulette, follow the chronological sequence, which actually might be a good idea. Now thinking about it, and probably lead the roulette or something else for for non-Nintendo allowed, which has, actually has a wider variety of consoles in that one case specifically but yeah, I mean, in the meantime, let's enjoy Mario World and some achievements getting and we unlock the Star World once again because I think I got it before, right? anyway Let's finish the other part of Roll 3, which is in the outside, but starting that next time.